What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2 and there's a new plant available. I do apologize for not getting to this earlier, but it's the Bamboo Spartan. Unlock it really quick so I can use it. At level 1, it costs 175. Um, it's plant food ability, slams its spear to knock back zombies multiple times. Uh, a fierce bamboo warrior that can withstand massive damage when his shield breaks his attacks will deal even more damage so basically he's like kind of defense but then you know once it once it breaks he's even stronger so uh, his special of course bamboo Spartan enters a battle trance once his shield shatters increasing his damage for tacos and Liberty scratch that for tacos <laughs> so at level one, he's not going to be super strong, but take a look at this cutie coming out soon. Sun Dew Tangler. I'll just read this. This is not what we're covering today, but uh, this one's interesting. Seemingly innocuous, Sun Dew Tangler can spring up under unsuspecting zombies on her tile, trapping them and leeching them to produce sun. That's a really cool ability. Uh, we'll take a look at that whenever that arrives. But So what I'm going to do is take uh, Bamboo Spartan across the time zones, <laughs> across the eras, and um, showcase it. See what we can pull off here. See how it works in general. We're going to dip into, of course, starting off with Arena. Uh, not Arena, sorry. No, not Arena. I know I, I know, I missed Arena. My life, I mean, it's been really busy. But we're back. We're back. And we're going in. Not Arena. Adventure mode. Day 23. Let's see the Bamboo Spartan. See what it does. And um, let's pull this off if we can. Now this, I mean, shouldn't be much of a challenge, really. Let me just bring out some stuff. I mean, really, all I care about is showcasing the Bamboo Spartan. So we'll bring him in. I might even, um, let's see. Imitate it. Imit Where's the imitator? Sorry, right there. There you go, sure. Uh, give me lots of sun. Uh, oh, it's a piercing plant, which is cool. Let me bring in... Thing about using the spearmint is it puts down a whole bunch of spikes, which will weaken the zombies. And the the hard part about showcasing this kind of stuff is I can't dial down the other plants to level one. You know, I have to like if I have bamboo spartan out there, if I have any other plants shooting at the zombies, the other plants are just gonna obliterate the zombies. And that's a shame. But right now we'll just leave it like this. We'll see what we got. And um what else can we bring? I don't I don't even know what I'm bringing. Oh, let's bring in the gold bloom. There you go. Let's rock with this. Let's see how much we can get done with just the bamboo Spartan, if we can. And then just yeah, give me that. I should have brought in the. I forgot to bring in the. Uh, dang, uh, I forgot to bring in the. Uh, the enlightenment. So that was quick. He, for one, one thing I noticed is that he took out those graves like almost immediately, which was really cool. And if we kind of keep him on the front lines here, well, I, I mean. The front lines are going to be kind of far back. Oh, wow, he took out the... Okay, he takes out graves really quickly. I like that. So, he's on defense. He's attacking. That's... For level one, that's powerful. That's really powerful for level one. That's interesting. Wow, okay. And when he, his shield breaks, he's even stronger? Let's take a look at what just one column of these guys will do right now. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's solid. That's solid right there. Let me go ahead and put in another, start putting in another column. Because they're going to put in more graves. They're going to put in, uh... Oh, what does, what does plant food do? Just curious. Okay. Maybe I should have waited until he got closer. Dude, that thing was gone the instant he put it down. Wow. These are really effective against graves. There you go, there you go. Sure, yeah. Let's do it again. So if these guys were closer, he would be pushing them back. All right, sure, yeah. Now, I just wanna make sure he doesn't get burned up here. Let's attack him. How close they gotta be to burn up? That's so close, but actually he's able to take those guys out without even getting burned. And it looks like they're attacking multiple zombies at once as well. These are formidable plants. I mean, sometimes they come out with a plant. I'm like, I don't know if I want to use this, but this one seems really formidable. And so let me just see what's going to happen here. I know this is a bit slow, uh, you know, because they're they're buying time by throwing these graves. But these guys are destroying the graves so quickly. I don't think I've seen anything destroy a grave quicker than this, except for like a, an explosive. This is pretty incredible. Here, let me do this one. 
There you go. There you go. Now, now, okay, yeah, even the even the cone. Even the cone head. Now, what about the bucket zombies? Let's see if two can take out a bucket. And they're definitely going to have to take out the, the dude with the with the fire, of course. All right, now we're going to see if two takes out a bucket head. Wow, it does. So they're not even going to get... He didn't, he, didn't, he didn't even lose his shield. Here, if the if the imp gets thrown this way, I want to be ready. So, okay, his shield's gone. So now he's attacking even more. All right, he's gone. Let me use this. That didn't really knock back, but okay. Wow. These guys are powerful. So once the shield breaks, he attacks even faster, which is really cool. Um, you know what I want to do, though, right? I want to take it to the Pirate Seas and see... Uh, there's this particular stage on the Pirate Seas where I see how these things stand up against a horde of weak imps. And when a plant can do that, I mean, I'm pretty happy. I estimate... Just, I, I, I like to kind of guess, almost like a little wager in my mind, about what's going to happen. I like to make a prediction, like I have a crystal ball. And I would say that these guys, the Bamboo Spartans, are going to hold up. And it's not going to be an issue. But we'll see. It's day 22. And I will try to figure out exactly what's going to happen here. And let's see. Plan your defense and defeat the zombies. Sure. Uh, so let's bring him in. Of course. I mean, that's all we're going to bring in, really. That's all we're going to plant, at least. And it's only a level one. So I'm just bringing in a bunch of stuff. Let's rock. I'm I'm pretty sure this is gonna go really well. What? No, I did not touch you. Maybe I did. Drop him out. All right. I can't afford four columns, like, but I can afford this much. Let's rock with this. Obviously, the fact that the cannons are out there is going to be a bit of an issue. But with the way that these guys destroy graves, and I'm fast forwarding because I want to see this. That was quick. Now, they destroy graves quicker than imps somehow, but <laughs> he still took a shot at him. These guys are awesome. Yeah, okay. Let's I wanna see I wanna see a whole horde of imps. Yeah, wow, okay. One of these cannons is gonna bust open really quick in a second here. We're just waiting. Yeah, that's. Yeah, they didn't even stand a chance. And the thing is, is even if they were to overwhelm a little bit, we do have like three entire columns and a fourth partial column, but also they still have shields. So this is really cool. I mean, like. Wow. These guys are tough, man. I can't wait to level this thing up. Are they going to end up nerfing this guy, man? This guy's awesome. It's always fun to see a really awesome plant. I mean, I think this one's awesome. It's a piercing plant, so it'll go great with like, I mean, it pierces. That's, that's why he's able to take care of multiple zombies or imps or whatever at the same time, because they pierce right through. This is great. Wow. Wow. I mean, just wow. Now, the only thing I regret is, you know, I wish, I wish there was a, it's not a regret so much as a wish. One thing I wish, do they all have their shields left? One thing I wish is that there was like an extra fast forward so I could just fly through this because I am just kind of at the at the whim of whenever these cannons fire. But it would be great to be able to super fast forward through this and just to see it out to the end. Dude, they're not even getting their shields eaten. These, I mean, these are good. I'm telling you, man, this this might be a game changer to have a piercing plant this powerful like that. I mean, we already have some, you know, the, the Pokra, but this one, I mean, my Pokra is pretty high level. I'd have to see, but this one feels pretty solid. I could be wrong. But we're going to have to take this on the Dark Ages and check it out. We're going to have to take this uh, probably to the Ice Ages 
Jurassic World or whatever. Could be cool. Look at this. I said Jurassic World. <laughs> Jurassic Park. What is it? What is it called? The name evades me. We're just waiting for these cannons to explode. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Are, do they still have all of their shields still? So they haven't even like... Wow. They didn't even lose a single shield. None of them did. Wow. Obviously, you know, something that would attack the cannons would make this stage fly by better, but they are great against a massive amount of weak zombies. Totally great. Um, I'm probably just going to take them throughout uh, a variety of, of worlds just to see if there's anything I'm missing here. But for now, I mean, that was a pretty decent showing. What other world... Oh, you know, one world that would be tough still would probably be wild west i don't really suspect anything amazing frostbite caves do i want to do it i don't know lost city i don't know far future i don't know dark ages now let's just let's just try it because we know that the dark ages they have the jesters and the jesters you know are pretty strong against projectiles but this ain't no projectile no no this is just a spear melee weapon right there So let's give it a shot. Let's see what we got here. I know that this isn't going to be too bad. Um, we're going to want sun production, of course. I'm going to want some extra... Actually, let me imitate it. Now, one downside of this is it does take a while for it to recharge and get out. And that's why I would love to try it at a higher level, of course. Because the charge time or whatever, the refresh time will probably be even better. Um, let's bring in this just in case things get a little overwhelming for me. Let's bring in this. I, again, I'm primarily going to just be using these. Just because that's how it goes. And that and a little bit of these mushrooms. So there we go. Now I do have to worry about wizards. But if I put them up front, the wizards probably won't be a big deal. One thing we have to worry about, though, are the graves that pop up, and that that will be a bit of an annoyance. So, let me put them in the back for a second. I know, I know. I'm just worried about the necromancy that happens in the back. And that's why we did bring the time warp to buy us some time. So, uh, we got a decent column of mushrooms here. We're going to have another almost column of these guys. One more recharge, we'll have another one. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. We're thinking about it like this. We're thinking about it in terms of how can we go super defensive. There we go. And then now, sure. It's gonna take some time to get over there, but we need to, time warp. All right, this is where it gets crazy. Let's uh, shove this guy right here. Ooh, so he actually this might be a case where he eats his shield. Cause I didn't I kind of overdid it right there. Yeah, so we ate the shield, so now so one thing is this guy can't attack backwards. That's one thing to consider. Okay, now also consider the fact that we got these uh imps or whatever. I'm gonna use a plant food on this guy. Push them back a couple times. Well, I just destroyed him. Okay, okay, we got the uh yeah, we got the uh this is the, this becomes the problem where you have uh, here attack the wizard directly. It shouldn't be a big deal. Oh boy, oh boy, one wizard dead, another one. We are having to do a little power here because they keep uh, you know messing with me, so to speak. All right, right there. There you go. Sure. It's a little bit much, but. Look, oh, sure, sure, hold on, hold on. We might have to use time warp, hold on. Or maybe not, we got this. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Is his shield still on? He's gone, man. So it was a little, little more involved than I thought, but with it being just a level one plant, I mean, we totally dominated with just this level one plant. So... Man, I cannot wait to level this up a little bit more. 
This is actually really cool. Let's set, test it on Big Wave Beach. I'm really curious at just how effective it'll be. I know we'll need like lily pads and whatnot to support it, but this was fantastic. I mean, you, you saw, I mean, this is so cool. I love it when there's a new useful plant, you know, like a really useful one, one that you just really want to use. And with it only being level one, I mean, I'm already thinking about it like, man, at level 10, this thing's gonna be awesome. Um, Jurassic March would be interesting. Uh, I'm really antsy about Big Wave Beach though, so let's do Big, Big Wave Beach first. And then let's see, I forget, I always forget what stage to do this on. Uh, we could try l number 28. I might roll it back to one before, but I think 28's valid. Are there gar gargantuars on this one? I do not know. Okay, don't lose more than, yeah, I remember the challenge. Don't lose more than five plants, which kind of makes me not be able to use some of the stuff, but let's just refresh. We got this, we're gonna want lily pads. We don't really want any of this other stuff that takes some time. Uh, or we might be cool enough with losing one plant, like an enlightenment or something. Uh, so let's bring in lily pads because we're going to want to use a lot of those. I'm also still going to be inclined to use uh, the infinite, uh, which is right here. And then the, the lily pads that we were just talking about, we need to bring those in. And then, oh man, it's just like, well, what else do we want to not lose or whatever? We could bring in something with significantly more... Um, production on the sun. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of at the point where everything's a loss. Um, hmm, I don't know. Let's rock. Yeah, enlightenment counts as losing, but that's okay. The benefit of the enlightenment might, and just only losing one might be totally worth it. Let's get these out really quick. Oh, that's good. Oh shoot, no, I used the, I dragged the wrong one anyway. Oh no. Here, put that out there. My bad. I honestly did not mean to do that. Okay, cool. Let's put that in. Okay, well. He's gonna be up front attacking him good. I'm gonna try to put that like right there. That might be a bit much, honestly. Oh dear. If I can get one of those Spart bamboo Spartans up front really quick to go on defense, that'll be great. She can't eat us all. No. Um, yeah, that guy's not going to hold up. Alrighty, so. Uh, yes, right there. Definitely gonna want. All right, let's see how she holds up there. I don't know. Little iffy, but no, he's he's taken care of. That's good. I do worry about a, a few things, but I have a ton of sun right now. Okie dokie. So, so they still don't, don't attack anyone who's using a snorkel. Which is about expected, so. There you go, and now is the time for this. Oh man, I totally forgot they're gonna be putting in. Okay, I didn't realize that would happen, but you know, it makes enough sense that I could put one here and one here to kind of make them leave. We're still attacking the bucket head. This guy's gonna not appreciate that. Uh, no, okay, yeah, that sucked for me. Uh, let's get another one. Front lines, front lines, front lines. Front lines, right there. There you go. We want more border. Give me a barrier. There you go. Now, these attacking the fisherman dudes. The fisherman dudes seem a little bit strong against this guy. You'd think he would just pop their floatable there. But so far, so good. I mean, we're really holding up. Low tide. This is this is where they really shine, right? Please tell me they can shine here. I don't. Whoa, we, we're losing some. We're losing some. I don't know why. I don't know where or why or how. An octopus zombie popped up. This is uh, intense. I don't know how we lost some, but we did lose some. 
All right, hurry up, hurry up. We don't want this to happen, but it's happening. We, well, how are we losing these? What are, what are we losing? Okay, this is this is rough. This is I mean I can imagine us losing more. Oh boy. Oh jeez. So this is bad. Yeah, he destroyed that one. All right, so I didn't quite succeed how I wanted to. I imagine if I were to try that numerous times, then maybe that would work. Let me do the Jurassic Marsh. I think one of the problems is I was too willy-nilly on some of the stuff. I lost a lily pad I probably didn't need to lose. And then when they popped out, I just wasn't ready for it. So, anyway, let's go back to Jurassic Marsh then really quick because I want to see. I mean, being able to attack the front lines where the dinosaurs are is going to be... I think instrumental in success on some of these stages. So, uh, level 30, I think, is one that we do. If not, I can back out, choose a different one. But this is looking pretty good. All right, so we got some serious, serious things going on here. So, um, I would just bring in something like along these lines. Like, I don't, I don't have to worry about losing some or whatever. Um, in fact. I, this would be a good time to really check out the spearmint, I think. I don't need that. To check out the spearmint, I think that would be pretty cool. I pretty much just only want to succeed with these uh, bamboo guys, though. So let's uh, let's try something out a little bit. Let's uh, Where's the plant? There we go. This is looking all right. Keep in mind, this is only a level one, so the fact that I basically beat big, almost beat Big Wave Beach with a level one plant is something to talk about, I I would say. I want to talk about it. Let's... <laughs> All right, yes, sure. I'm just going to put that there. I don't know if I need to. Just thought I would. Now, keep in mind that these spike rocks are going to do a heavy amount of damage to these guys. So just one thing to consider. And then there you go right there. And then, sure, let's go with the second column. Uh, yeah. Let's just unleash. Here we go. Let's let's just go all out. Yeah, so already, look at that. I guess the back row needs a little bit of protection here. If we're going to be dealing with gargantuars. Love it. I'm going to strengthen the back row just a little bit more while we're dealing with this. All right. And then let's, yeah, this is, I mean, this is, I mean, other than the fact that we're using, like, decent sun production, that we have these spike rocks with the, you know, with the, with the spearmint. I mean, this is a level one plant doing most of the support damage work. This is good. This is a good plant. I highly recommend this plant. I recommend you. This is a Zack Scott game seal of approval. <laughs> is that even a thing? Maybe it could be. Um, but hey, um, what are we going to do? Well, I guess what we're going to do is we're going to call it a day. I I mean, I wish there was like the, the travel log stuff that they used to do. But right now, I think there's a, an arena going on. I would probably make a separate episode based on just the, the arena. But this, I think, was a good showcase of this new plant. A good plant. I had a lot of fun with it. Thank you guys for watching. Come back next time for more Plants vs. Zombies 2. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit Zach Scott. Dot shop. Come back next time for more.